Copyright laws apply to all contents of this video. Hello, Jamar Studios here, and this is our original fantasy action adventure, Like Water, The Next Age. Episode 16 Barnabas enters an empty hall the size of a grand auditorium, at the end of which stood Zoo beside a chained up eyes whose sword laid on the ground in front of her. Three days to track us down? Clearly you have much to learn, said Zoo as Barnabas approached him. What is this all about? asked Barnabas, determined not to give in to his rage. You, my boy, are living proof that your community needed to be destroyed. I mean, you're one programmer and look at all the grief you've caused me. Only God knows what I would have been put through if there were hundreds of you out there said Zhu as he carelessly examines eyes who seem to be slipping in and out of consciousness. I don't understand, responded Barnabas, now confused as well as enraged. I was born the son of the most powerful Kung Fu practitioner ever to live. The thing is, as a martial artist, he was good but far from great. The true source of his power was his programming abilities, which he sold as abilities anyone could achieve if they dedicated their lives to following him as a disciple. This of course made him very wealthy and influential. As his child, eager to please him, I fed his con by pretending to be a living example of this promise. At the time, I was convinced only people with my family's blood could possess the elemental abilities of a programmer. That was until 10 years after my father's death. I was challenged to a duel by a wandering foreigner who turned out to be a fire programmer. Even though I ended his life easily, he had left me with the fact that there were other people out there like me. For the next 60 years, I traveled the world searching for people like me, which led to the creation and establishment of your home. Or should I say, former home, explained Zhu. I don't understand. Why would you destroy a community you spent so long creating? Asked Barnabas, who was beyond appalled. My boy, despite our power, we are not on top of the food chain. There are individuals with powers you couldn't begin to comprehend. And these people currently run this world. I was promised complete control of the wastelands. All I had to do was make it a living nightmare for people who refused the implant and tried to hide here. This meant eliminating every programmer who chose to live outside the system. For a bunch of Christian programmers could end up making the wastelands pretty habitable, like you've tried to do, which, by the way, has been all in vain, for I can undo all you've done in less than 24 hours, responded Zhu. Maybe if all I did was provide security in the natural. How do you think things will end for you? I know you're not immortal, so even if it was possible to get past me, eventually you will die and stand before God. Come to think of it, I'm not even sure if you can class a chip programmer as a human, responded Barnabas, then proceeding to engulf his now clenched fists in flames. I think you overestimate your abilities. A whole village of programmers couldn't stop me from slaughtering them. What makes you think you even have a fraction of a chance? Said Zhu, then unleashing seven wooden tentacles with the objective to impel Barnabas, who in turn used his incredible agility to slide, jump, roll and flip out of the way. After which the young programmer found himself in the middle of four large humanoid constructs made out of dirt. He destroyed one with a flying knee to the face and then used its remains to destroy the remaining three with a series of slickly created weapons, only to find himself in front of a large wave of water, which he used his programming skills to split into two giant fists, which he thrust at Zhu, who intercepted them with a wall of fire, which in turn filled the room with steam and distracted Zhu long enough for Barnabas to engage him in hand-to-hand -hand combat, where both seemed evenly matched. Zhu managed to sidekick Barnabas 10 feet away from him, who in turn flipped to his feet, only to find the evil programmer had created a large steel wall, from which he began to shoot thousands of steel spikes at him. Barnabas in turn quickly manipulated and transformed all the spikes that headed towards him into a reinforced steel armor while he ran towards his foe. 
The young programmer then leapt over the wall and landed in front of Zhu with a punch, which the evil programmer stopped with his palm, at which point the steel fist was nothing more than an extension of an empty shell. As Barnabas emerged from the suit with a rugby tackle, the force of which Zhu used to throw Barnabas over him. As the programmer got to his feet, he found himself once again engaging Zhu in hand-to-hand -hand combat. This time, the evil programmer showed that the first time he was just toying with Barnabas. Before long, Zhu broke his opponent's right hand and left leg, which caused Barnabas to hit the ground, yelling in pain. Because I'm impressed, I will kill you with my bare hands, said Zhu as he walked towards a now defenseless programmer, before feeling the sharp pain of a sword being driven through him. A result of a now free eyes due to all the destruction caused by both programmers fighting literally stabbing him through the back with her sword you were overindulged during your training whispered eyes into the ears of zoo then proceeding to yank her sword out of him which caused the evil programmer to hit the ground where his life slowly began to expire that is the end of episode 16 but before we go answer this episode's question did eyes commit sin by killing zoo give your answers in the comments below as well as on our facebook and twitter page hope you enjoyed this episode stay tuned for the next one until then subscribe to jamar studio youtube channel add us on facebook and follow us on twitter link to our website on all social media can be found in the description box below see you later